Hi guys, <coughs> excuse me, Jen here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Something. And I'm making whipped soap today. Um, this has been whipping for a while. Still a little soft, but it is good to go. Ooh. Partly that is due to the fragrance. I am making margarita whipped soap. Oh, goodness. And here it is. Let me wipe off my mixer. Push this back here out of the way. She's had a workout this morning. Isn't that beautiful? Whip soap is so pretty. So I'm going to do green and blue and then the white base. And then we're going to put some um, we're going to put some salt on top. So I want the bigger one blue. It's going to be a light blue obviously. I spared you guys the details of all of the whipping and all of that. You've seen me make whipped soap before. And if you've not and you're new to my channel, um, search back on how to make whipped soap. So, I'm going to do, and of course these are pale colors, you know, it's whipped soap. Whipped soaps are pale. And I've got, I'm going to have to change my shirt here in a minute. I reached over and got some of the raw soap on my shirt. It's okay. I'll change it as soon as I get this in the mold. Isn't that pretty? You don't have to use a stick blender to make whipped soap, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to pause now and go change my shirt. Okay, so I washed my arm off and changed my shirt. <clears throat> Excuse me. The thing with whipped soaps is you have a tremendous amount of time to work with it. They do not set up fast. <clears throat> but they are much more work involved. But I know people has requested my whipped soap, so you ask and you shall receive. I like to do my whipped soaps in my wood molds <coughs> just cause it's sturdy and it fills it pretty full. And get my hands and stuff working properly. Now I'll use a spoon or something to go in here and swirl this. Because you don't really get that much of a swirl when you're working in whipped soap. You guys probably noticed by now I turned the comments back on my videos and as long as all goes well I'll leave them on cuz 
because I do love hearing from you guys. I really do. You can see, like right here is about where my mold is normally full. And you can see we've got lots more soap to go in here. That's what makes whipped soap float. Do just a little bit more and we'll swirl it. Save the rest for the top. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to do a, um, one of my fat skewers or my metal rods just because it's long. bang this down on the floor. Now, um, with this, I went ahead and of course added my oats and my clay um, and my cream to my oils when they were whipping. So they would be really good and incorporated. Mm -hmm. I whipped just the hard oils first and I would stick it in the freezer for about 10 minutes, take it out, whip it a little bit, and if I didn't think it was setting up enough or getting fluffy enough, I'd stick it back in the freezer for another 10 minutes. And I did this three or four times. Um, and then I would take it out and whip it some more. And I did that until I liked the fluffiness that I had. And then I, um, I, I lie I made last night, of course. And um, it was in the fridge all night. And... Uh, I got it out right when I, I kept it in there until I was ready to use it. So my lye was really cold. Added it very slowly. I think my uh, mixer was on like a two setting. And then once it was incorporated, I incorporated the fragrance. And then I turned it up not on the highest setting, probably like an eight. My um, mixer goes to 10. And then I just let it blend for like 10 minutes. Do its thing. And I did other stuff. <laughs> like I'm working on candles also. So I went and worked on candles. Well, this was whipping away. And then I brought you guys in after it had been whipping for the last 10 minutes. This is a very big bar of soap. K 
kids love it. It does float in the bath. And margarita is such a nice summery scent. I thought it would be perfect. I can't make any bigger batch than this. So, you know, the whipped soaps sell pretty, f really fast because I can't, I don't have a bigger mixer. You know, that's as big as I've got, which is pretty big for um, just the home mixer. I have the professional six quart stand mixer. Now, this is just Himalayan sea salt. And I shall sprinkle down the top. I'm not going to do any glitter, just this. This is a coarse salt and it just it'll wash off or melt one in the shower. All right guys, I'll bring you back when we come back to cut our whipped soap. Now, <clears throat> it's still quite soft. So I gotta be careful. It's just been 24 hours since I made it. And whip soap takes longer to firm up. Look at that. First we'll have to trim up the edges. <clears throat> Got it to go nice and slow. <clears throat> you guys see that? Yeah. You see the top? Isn't that neat? And of course it smells wonderful. Oh, it's so pretty. Once it sets up, I'll bevel all the edges. <laughs> Love me some whipped soap. Sells very well. swirl turned out great I see that good? I think you can. Just like to make sure. It's like slicing through butter. So it's very soft.
I love how it turned out. Here's my end slice, which will be used for samples. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.